Hello, welcome back to Solving Equations. This is the second video for Solving Equations. In the first video, we talked about the Solving Equations for one variable in one step equations. Let's make a quick reminding about what we learned in the first video. An equation is a mathematical sentence that uses the equal sign to show that two expressions are equivalent. And what is the expression? The expression can be numbers, variables, constants or combination thereof. A solution of an equation is a value for the variable that makes the equation true. To determine the solution of an equation, you will use the properties of equality. The properties of equality are adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing the same number to or from both sides of an equation. Let the statement still be true. For example, if we know that 7 is equal to 7. So this is an equation that has a left hand side and a right hand side. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It's like a balance. So this is an equation. So if we add to the 7 on the left hand side we added for example 3 we have to do the same here on the right hand side. So if we add 3 on the left hand side, you have also to add 3 on the right hand side to keep the statement or the equation still be true. But how and when do we apply this? We apply this as follows. If a number is added to the variable, you use the subtraction property. So the inverse operation of addition is subtraction. Number two, if a number is subtracted from the variable, you use the addition property. So addition is the inverse operation of subtraction as well. Number three, if a number is multiplied by the variable, you use the division property. So here we have the inverse operation of multiplication is division. And number four, if the variable is divided by a number, you use the multiplication property. So multiplication is the inverse operation of division. Now we are going to learn how to solve two-step equations in one variable. Here's an example. We need to solve the equation 3x minus 2 equals 6. So here's the equation 3x minus 2 equals 6. To solve this equation, we first have to figure out what operations are involved in this equation. So, you know that x is the variable. x is the variable. We have minus 2 and we have 3 multiplied. So, the operations involved in this equation are multiplication and subtraction. To isolate the variable x to solve the equation, you have to use the inverse operations for both operations used, which are subtraction and multiplication. We know that the inverse operation of subtraction is addition, and the inverse operation of multiplication is division. But the question is, do you usually add subtract first? or multiply divide first when isolating a variable and the answer is you usually add subtract first because these are simpler operations so we will we will do the addition of 2 before we do the division of 3 as follows so now let's solve the equation the original equation on the left hand side is 3x minus 2 equal 6 on the right hand side. Now in the first step you use the addition property as we said because this is the simpler one. So you add 2 on the left hand side and you add 2 on the right hand side. Now 3x minus 2 and plus 2 crosses together. 
minus 2 plus 2 gives us 0. So what remains from the left hand side is 3x equal. Now combine like terms, so 6 plus 2 equal 8. Now still we have 3x. We need to get rid of the 3 multiplication. So we need to isolate x from the 3 by division by 3 because division is the inverse of multiplication. So what you do on the left hand side, don't forget to do it the same on the right hand side. So you divide by 3 on the left hand side and divide by 3 on the right hand side. Now 3x over 3, it looks like this, 3x over 3. So 3 is cancelled with 3 to get 1 and x equal 8 over 3. And this is the simplest or the last answer of the equation. More examples. Solve the equation half z plus 4 equals 10. Again, we have to know what are the operations involved here in the equation. The operations are addition by 4 and multiplication by half or dividing by 2. So half z is the same like, as we said in the first video, half z is the same like z over 2. So what is the inverse of division? Of course, it is multiplication by 2. And here the inverse of addition is subtraction by 4. As you see, we do the inverse operation with the same number. So again, which one are we going to use first? Subtraction or multiplication? Yes, it's subtraction first. So the first step here is, again, we will write the equation. The original equation on the left-hand side is half z plus 4 and equal 10 on the right hand side what we do is use the subtraction property to isolate the variable from the plus 4 so plus 4 minus 4 equals 0 and what remains here is half z equal now combine like terms 10 minus 4 equal 6 still we don't have the z by itself we need to isolate it from the division by 2 or times half so what is the opposite of division by 2 or times half it is multiplication by 2 on the left hand side and multiplication by 2 on the right hand side now simplify so 2 times half cross together to get 1 z equal 2 times 6 equal 12 and this is the final answer this is the solution of the equation so to discuss what we learned, what is the goal when solving a one variable equation? So, what is the goal from all these steps? The goal is to obtain the value of the variable that makes the equation true. So, let's go back to, to look at the, the last example here. We have half z plus 4 equal 10 and we got z equal 12. Okay, let us check if this value for z makes the equation true so we will substitute half instead of z i will write 12 so half times 12 plus 4 and we will make the question mark on the equal we are just checking if it's equal to 10 or not now half times 12 is like 12 divided by 2 equals 6 plus 4 is it equal to 10 or not 6 plus 4 equal 10 of course and it's equal to 10 so it is correct so this value is correct to summarize the lesson how do the properties of equality help you solve the equations the properties of equality say that performing any operation on one side of the equation then performing the same operation on the other side will always give you an equivalent equation. By doing this repeatedly, as we did in the examples, you can isolate the variable and find the solution. Hope you enjoyed it and you understood and wait for the third video for the equations. 